Welcome back to turn two, and thank you again for joining us. Um, <laughs> all right, so it starts off tank shock right through those uh, scarab swarms and unload out of both of those trucks, the one that was immobilized. And we're going to move up and we're going to try to get into assault range of those nasty ghost arcs. My bikes, of course, moving up. They're a piddly little squad, but they do still have that power claw. And I figured, you know what? Let's just go all out here. So I just unload my battle wagon as well with uh, the custom force shield to move up to, to give that mobile cover save since even if I do pop all those ghost arcs, I'm gonna need that cover um, from all those return shots because we saw turn one, they can do a lot. Um, Storm boys being awesome as always. They're just boosting ahead. And um, what I'm doing right here is um, there was a crater there from the, the one truck exploding, so I'm moving out of difficult terrain. So when I attack the Scarab Swarms, I won't uh, be initiative one. Um, and then my shooting phase, just, you know, orc shots, pistols, and I figured I didn't want to charge with my big mech to, to give a more of a bigger radius, so I shoot um, all 18 or 20 shooter boys into the one Scarab Swarm and successfully take it out. That's good. <laughs> Um, and so just onto the assaults, moving in, um, I go in, I want to kill those ghost arcs, I absolutely hate them. And so unfortunately, because they have the rear armor 11, only the power claws in my squad are going to be able to do any damage, and so my boys are going to be quite useless, um, at this point. Um, but that's what they're there for, right? A meat shield. So we're going in. Oh, I love all those dice. I finally get to do something against Matt. Oh, it was wonderful. And I kill all the Scarab Swarms. Oh, no, one did survive. Oh, that's right. Um, he did get to attack back, but then my Power Claw attacked and was able to remove it. And consolidation. I move back into the cover of the crater because I don't want to get shot up because I need those for the objectives. That is one of my uh, troop choices. And so I attack with my, my Storm Boys. I didn't hurt the Ghost Arc at all. My Power Claw, my Bike Squad at least immobilized it. So if he survives, you can at least take it down, hopefully next turn. Um, my other squad, attacking, and it explodes six or five inches. <laughs> so it hits, of course, all of my boys. Get a couple wounds there. It could have been a lot worse, so, so I'm not too happy. Um, not too sad, rather. Um, and I'm just ready to, to kill all those Necrons. Oh, that's that's just a wonderful sight. All those Necrons out in the open. I'm gonna have fun with them. And so, oh yeah, they did get... Take an explosion hit. And, oh, and now the Scare Swarm's attacking that truck. And finishing it off. <laughs> but on the, on... Yeah, there it is. But the Ramshackle chart, it just... It doesn't do anything. It just explodes on the spot. I'm so disappointed with my trucks. Now, now it's the Necron's turn. <laughs> and again, I am out in the open. So those Scarab Swarms that I ignored, uh, cause I thought the Warriors would be more of a threat, start moving up the board, probably looking for my battle wagon. The Immortals are moving up to point blank range. They just want to mow down those Storm Boys. <laughs> now I'm starting to think maybe I, maybe I should have engaged the Immortals and, uh, instead of that Ghost Arc. Well, I didn't, I didn't kill the Ghost Arc, so it was bad luck. And thus the shooting on my guys begins. Again, some storm boys being taken out. Those... <coughs> the bikes... Man, my, my knob survives. I'm very happy about that. But, oh, the lords... I, f I forgot that the lords had those flamers. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for <laughs> all their shots. And, uh, hey, my knob survived. And that's what, that's what counts, right? If you guys watch my other battle reports, my one lone knob can do a lot. They, they are fantastic. And so the Ghost Ark and the Warriors inside are shooting into those Storm Boys. And I'm kind of holding on. Kind of. Now the Lord from the Flamer in that one is going across my bike into the shooting squad. So it does wound my bike. But then also wounds the Shooter Boy squad. And then he's able to, to shoot the rest of his, his shots into them. And starts whittling them down as well. Now I'm starting to get a little worried because <laughs> there's still more shots. So these immortals, they they're they're gonna finish off this squad of boys. They they really didn't have a chance, unfortunately. So 
Oh no, that's right. Nope, my knob is left. That's right. <laughs> I told you, knobs are amazing for all you orc players. You know what I'm talking about, and for all of the people that play against orcs. But yeah, then, then you know, they just charge in, and the, his his hope is bleak. And the first wrecked vehicle of the game. Everything's been exploding. Which is, I think, more exciting. But, uh, you know, it's, it's always fun to use the smoke. So, here come all the immortal hits on my poor knob. And he is taken out, of course, before doing anything. And they consolidate back into a firing lane to take on my next squad of boys. But my knob biker did survive. He does get those auto hits. Get some penetrating. And open top. Kaboom! Following in key with this battle report. And oh my god, look how many wounds. He makes the saves, and he gets back up. <laughs> so we have a perfect squad of warriors sitting on that crater. So end of turn two, it's a lot of stuff has happened. Um, this is going to be a shorter game, I think. Um, but we could almost have played on a two by four board. We're all just clumped together. Um, it, it's going to be... It's gonna be close, I think, um, and really depend on, on what kind of charges I can I can pull off, and if I can get that last ghost arc open. And now it's time to click on the link for part three down below if you're on Winnie Wargaming, or right on the screen if you're on YouTube. Happy Wargaming!